everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn how to hide rows based on values with the help of VBA now let's say there is a scenario where you want to hide rows if any specific based on a specific value like is equal to 0 or greater than 0 less than 20 so how will you do that Let's see that. So as you can see, I have uh, some table here uh, where I'm, I have given the numbers 0, 1, 0, 1, and I have highlighted them just to uh, show it to you. And in the next table, uh, next column, I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the sequence till 15. So we will see two different scenarios here. Let's say first one for each cell in range B22, B19, right? So I want to check uh, from B2 till B16, sorry. So I'll write B16, right? Then I want to write the condition that if cell dot value is equal to zero then cell dot entire row dot hidden is equal to true otherwise I'll move to the next cell right so this basically we have created the loop inside this range so what this macro will do, it will go to each cell one by one and check if the value is zero, it will hide the entire row. Otherwise, it will move to the next cell. Now I'll press F5 to run this macro. Let's see how it goes. Right, as you can see on my screen in column B here, uh, now I don't have any zero visible, uh, only ones are shown here. And as you can see, there are hidden rows here, right? So I'll just go back and unhide them, show that I can um, show you the next macro, right? So next macro, what I'll do, uh, just to show you another example is, uh, let's say I'll change the range to column C to, to column 16, right? And what I'll do with the criteria, I'll change this to greater than seven. So I'm writing if cell value is greater than seven, then I want to hide that row, okay? Let's see if uh, this works and how it works. I'll press F5 to run this code. Right, as you can see in column C now, uh, everything below seven is hidden. And after eight, I'm directly seeing 17th row. So basically all this are hidden through macro, right? So this way uh, there can be different requirement on your end uh, on based on your project, but uh, this should suffice uh, like this code should suffice. You just need to change your range and your criteria here and this should work for you so that's it for this video i hope you are liking the videos and uh, please share in comments if uh, you know you want me to cover any other topics or if you have any suggestions for me and uh, i'll keep sharing more such videos so please subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends and colleagues so they can also take the advantage of this channel thank you very much have a great day